Nintendo DS broke, but it still works perfectly fine, except for the hinges. So I decided I would try to fix it instead of throwing it away. I took my Dremel and I cut this piece off. This part is what broke and uh, there's a screw right there so watch out do not hit this it still powers on fine and everything I just put tape over it so when I was cutting it wouldn't get in between the little edges of the screen and what I'm going to try to do is a really cheap fix which is taking a door hinge that I got from Lowe's and what I plan on doing is this because it's actually a perfect you know, it's hard to see with the camera but it's actually a perfect fit so I'm actually going to try to JB weld it and uh, we're going to come back and see if it worked or if it was a waste of time but this was two dollars so I thought I'd try it I added the hinge as you can see before that, I applied a piece of tape that followed the gray line all the way over. I used this not only as a guide, but also to keep this stuff from getting inside of the cartridge right here and the electric port right here. And let me make sure this stays up. And I also have scuffed the back of this hinge and also the plastic piece that's what JB says in order to have a better adhesive property and it needs to focus you can't really see it right here but there's the gray little part that was part of the actual hinge part on both sides and I have lined this up evenly on both sides and also it should be even right here so now we need to let it rest it says 24 hours I'll give it the whole 24 hours and then we'll do the top hinge part after we test if this just breaks off afterwards then I'm not even gonna waste my time but we'll come back and see what happens after 24 hours hinge glued very well it is very strong I actually just picked it up by the hinge a little bit but I actually put tape on the back side because I wanted to make sure it was all lined up I cut everything from the bottom and the top as you can see from earlier there was some pieces of the hinge still there I removed all of it so this can shut fine let me show you the hinge action to put it in sleep mode still works very well as you can see I can shut it and it still goes in the sleep mode it sits fine and comes back on now when you clean this center part out you have to make very sure you do not cut the ribbon that is the most important part you do not want to get this far and then just destroy that I also left a little gap as you can see and that's just so when it shuts it doesn't put pressure on the ribbon now I am going to scuff this top part of the plastic and also the metal hinge and then we're going to epoxy excuse me JB weld it uh, I'm going to remove my tape and put a little line because this is exactly where I want it I'm going to put that line and then JB weld it and then come back in 24 hours and we'll see if this thing's exactly how I hope it is 24 hours later it's all dry. It's very strong. Look at that. Jeez. Could have did a little better control monitoring the overflow of it, but I honestly don't care at this point. I'm just surprised this actually worked in as good as it did. The only part you really have to make sure is, like I said earlier, when you put that piece of tape, not only as a guide, but to protect your charge port and your game cartridge port so you can still take out and put in after I did this part when the JB welds started to stiffen up pretty good I just ripped off that piece of tape and it left a nice clean line if you really care that much you can do that all the way around but this is the important part 
and like I said earlier the gap right here you need a little bit of a gap just so you don't have the wires rubbing against the very top when you have that little bit of gap it just gives a little bit of a breathing room also so you don't have the plastic right against the hinge part last thing I was going to do is uh, I went ahead and cleaned the top with isopropylene alcohol I had some of these felt bumpers that I got to replace some of my cabinets when you shut them the little pieces fell off so now they're quiet again and I had a couple of these left so I was just going to uh, just put some in the corners you can put them right over the holes if you want but I just kind of wanted them right here so when it shuts it shuts on this meteor part like that so now it's now I feel more protected guess you didn't need it before but you know whatever it works love it really happy everything's still good even the sleep <clears throat> it cost me less than five bucks for everything so if it wasn't gonna work I was just gonna trash it anyway so I'm pretty happy I now got a lot more life out of it even though it kind of looks crappy.